on his backpack eventually led to a Georgia high school going into lockdown. Oh! And the suspension of three students last week, the suspension. The incident started when a 10th grade boy, not a young man, arrived at Rock Mart High School in Polk County with the flag attached to his backpack. And then the hysteria only went on from there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Does you see it? Oh, SWAT team, help me. SWAT team, help me. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this is mental illness. Look at that. There's a Confederate flag flying at that Capitol. Get it down. Get it down. A month later, oh, I saw one on a car. I saw one on a shirt. I saw it. This is what we've become. No knowledge, no history, no background, no culture. Just here's a symbol, we're banning it. And months after the hysteria begins, it's taken off capitals, statues are pulled down, and, 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 and police arrive because someone saw a symbol. But when people come across the border with the Al-Qaeda or the ISIS flag, or people come across illegally from Syria or from Libya, it's okay. We're going to get to that in the news today as well. And in Germany, CPS now takes your kids if you criticize the migrants. <laughs> Back to Nazi Germany where they Nazis took your kids if you didn't do what you were told. But it's all liberal, so it's okay. Besides, there are families that can't have kids that need your kids. They deserve kids, so they're going to take them from yours. Don't be homophobic. Groups to take over multiple countries in the Middle East and North Africa. Now they're allowing them to embed themselves in, quote, refugees and migrants, many of which are migrants into countries they were trying to take over, like Syria, and are now being sent to the United States and other areas of Europe. This is while we have the headline, ISIS planning nuclear tsunami. And Obama warns of apocalyptic cult. That is ISIS, which is simply Al-Qaeda under a new name to confuse the public. So this is how ridiculous things have gotten and how illiterate politically the public has gotten that they can even pull something off like this. Trust in mainstream media hits rock bottom in a new Gallup poll. Only 40% say they have any level of trust, and that level is low. Yes, Congress has a 9% approval rating in Gallup. They can attack the president on supposed racial issues or claim people are and then get a 35, 40% approval rating for him, but just based on personality. But the policies have a 9% approval rating. Another Pentagon report predicted West support for Islamic rebels would create ISIS, anti-ISIS coalition knowingly sponsored Violent extremists to isolate Assad, roll back Shia expansion. The Pentagon, of course, had these reports suppressed, but our government's been arming the Saudi Arabian forces the whole time. As Iraq has been saying for three years, that we're supplying them. We're not doing it. The criminals that hijacked our country are. Oh, look at this article out of Breitbart. It's up on Infowars.com as well. DOJ drops charges against Syrian woman arrested at Texas border with Mexico being brought in illegally. That's okay. She's just allowed to come in now. DOJ drops charges against Syrian woman, McAllen, Texas, the place where we went down and showed the feds completing the smuggling process where they give them the vouchers and put them on the buses. A federal court in this border city dropped all charges against Syrian woman and her brother-in-law, a U.S. citizen who was arrested as they attempted to enter the U.S. from Mexico. He was bringing her in. As reported by Breitbart, Texas, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol arrested 27-year-old Walla Al-Army and her brother-in-law, 46-year-old Mohammed Zaid Al-Zalam, last week in the border city on the charge of misusing a U.S. passport. That was in the border city of Hidalgo. Court records obtained by Breitbart, Texas, reveal that the woman traveled to Beirut, Lebanon, to be picked up, and then it goes into how she was transported to the United States. Let's continue. Germans could have their children snatched for anti 
migrant Facebook posts lose their job and they are serving 120-day jail sentences, no judge, no jury, and 5,000 euro fines, and they've reactivated Stasi officers to carry it out. Paul Joseph Watson, that's right, they've reactivated the Stasi and have them Germany-wide with Zuckerberg. You cannot make this up. You cannot make the magnitude of evil up and how concerted it is. Germans who make racist anti-immigrant posts, that means any criticism, could have their children snatched by the state and uh, fired from their jobs, according to German Lawyers Association. It goes on. And, and, and here's Zuckerberg. We have the video and the audio of this. Maybe we should grab that and play it later. Mark Zuckerberg caught on hot mic, live mic, saying Facebook will censor anti-migrant posts. Yeah, we showed how the Pope did that fake thing with that girl last week. It had tens of thousands of shares in a few hours. And they just erased the shares down to zero, and you could not share it and could not post it on any other pages. Isn't that just special? Facebook CEO tells German Chancellor, we need to do some work. And Facebook is actually hiring uh, Stasi folks as well. I'm not kidding. This is mainstream news. To then alert the authorities in Germany. So the Stasi are really helpful people. Marcus Wolf, former head of the Stasi, the most infamous director, uh, worked for three years when they founded Homeland Security, establishing the Bureau. Uh, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg uh, was caught discussing the censorship of anti-migrant posts on the United Nations Development Summit Saturday while speaking with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. It just surfaced last night. Uh, that's just some of the news on that front. I'm going to get into Obama when we come back. And the fact, has he been shown up by Vladimir Putin? On this Tuesday, the 29th day of September 2015. To watch how the media spins things. The last few months, they've had all these headlines about Russia is secretly bringing weapons into Syria to keep the civil war going, while Russia has been making announcements for five years about shipping them anti-ship missiles, anti-aircraft missiles, anti-tank weapons, delivery systems, early warning systems, radar systems, advisors, air bases, troops. The Russians make announcements almost on a weekly basis. It's all over foreign news, but see, they know how Americans are, so they go, the Pentagon has caught Russia sneaking more weapons into Syria. Again, it's the same thing where the feds from Indiana to Wisconsin to Pennsylvania SWAT team on a monthly basis Amish who haven't even committed crimes. They'll have a million plus dollar two year sting. Feds will move in next door to the Amish leader. No criminal record, a totally, you know, Christian just almost zero crime, best people, most trustworthy, most Christian. They'll move in for a year, two years, some cases, to, quote, get their trust, to get them to sell them cheese and milk. And then one day, a year in, they'll go, yeah, I'm taking this to uh, give it to my brother in the next state. They almost go, all right, good, thank you. Well, if you need more, uh, you know, we like to give it to you, but you like to pay for it, thank you. And then an hour later, helicopters, SWAT teams, armored vehicles, get on the ground, get on the ground. So the stupid little jury that's already got Alzheimer's at age 40, can't tie their shoelaces, don't know what planet they're on, knows absolutely nothing. I use this example a lot because it's key. Goes in and sees the SWAT raid. Here is the SWAT raid grand jury. Well, I mean, if you got guys in black masks throwing down Amish, I mean, it, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. They go, okay, I'll indict them. If that's lucky, damn right, you're going to end God, I'm going to get you next. Because <laughs> there's nothing like throwing an old Amish man in prison and taking their property. That makes you sleep real good at night. Because you're the loving federal government when you're not grabbing kids out of their backyards to put them on C-130s to fly them to Saudi Arabia. So Prince Boo Boo can do whatever he wants. Filth. Scum. So that's how they run it. Uh, yeah, we caught the Russians. Uh, we caught the Chinese. Putting a thousand Marines in. And people sit there and watch the news. They go, oh, we caught them dirty Russians. And then they have the Secretary of Defense comes out last week and goes, 
Russia's aiding ISIS and is only going to embolden them. That's why we're fighting ISIS, and we don't appreciate the Russians helping them. No one, the average American goes, oh, Russians fighting with ISIS. Um, they're worse than the Amish. I'm going to not blow up right now. This is not an act that I'm about to really blow up here. I, I just, I got to get control of my temper right now because it's not healthy to get this angry. But I, I mean, how stupid is the public? How geopolitically, culturally, religiously ignorant are you people? And I'm not talking about our regular listeners. So here's what's happened to Obama. Obama is the politically correct, trendy front man. That's the new religion of global government is political correctness. And political correctness is whatever the new correctness is this month, this week, today. It's just total cultural Marxism directly out of the Stalin era and, and the Lenin era and the Soviet Union, where it's just whatever they say this week, you better repeat it exactly as they said it, or you're going to a forced labor camp. Well, the Hillary's fun camps. But the military's heating up, getting ready, gearing up. On record, Army.mil. Just type in civilian inmate labor camp program. Uh, Emergency Centers Establishment Act. Resettlement. Army manual. Social security numbers. How to process you and your family. How to break up the political leaders. How to put the leader men in another camp. How to helicopter us out for torture. And, quote, re-education. And those commies are going to be in there, boy, and they are going to just have their way with us. It's going to be hellish. Of course, we're not planning to go to those. <laughs> we're ready for you, trash. We're ready for you, scum, you filthy, degenerate maggots. We know exactly who you are. You think you're going to get in a fight with us? It's going to be a cakewalk. You've taken our restraint as weakness. You've taken our kindness as weakness. You're going to find out. The truth of this just hits me and I get angry. It's so sick to watch reality twisted and inverted and turned sideways and just spun to hell. God help me. God help me be calm. <sighs> Anyways. I mean, I'm so angry about Zuckerberg. I already know they censor key stuff we put out. Like, well, why are you on Facebook? Why are you on Facebook? Because it advertises as a public commons. We're very popular there. We reach hundreds of millions of people there. That's why we're there. Why are you on the battlefield if the enemy's attacking back? Because that's where the enemy is. It's the most stupid, mindless, sheep-like, moron, idiot statements I've ever heard. I mean, how stupid are you trolls and all you sycophant morons out there? This system is designed to suck out your prosperity, suck out your health, and destroy you, you fools! You just think you joined with the New World Order and it gave you power and somehow you're on the winning team, you useful idiot trash! <sighs> that has <clears throat> dishonored this republic trashed our name by design for world government to flush America down the toilet very soon. You people are the biggest idiots I've ever seen in my life. You're like a spoiled, rotten 15-year-old whose dad gives him a brand new car and you bitch because it doesn't have leather seats and, and, and run up and kick the door in. You're a bunch of a bunch of slack-jawed, lazy, cocky, arrogant thugs that can't back up anything. You're all talk and no action. And when all the hell breaks loose, you're going to be crying for your mommy, and she ain't going to be there. Now, let's get back to this. Look at this. Tell you what, before I get to the article, let's just play Obama's statements yesterday at the UN. Obama has turned Putin into the world's most powerful leader. No Russia is not perfect, but Russia is not on an offense. Russia is surrounded. Russia is deindustrialized. Russia is under attack. Russia is having their only export energy brought down. Russia is surrounded by Chechen fighters that are now in all the Caucasus and are in Ukraine and are in Syria, their only Mediterranean port, <clears throat> attacking them. And so the Russians are defending their absolute core national security. And so the reason everyone's being driven into the former KGB agent's arms is because Obama and the globalists, in an educated, 
politically informed world. America has the least amount of travel except for like North Korea.